So now we're going to go through actually getting the, the standalone tunnel set up. So you'll see here in the article, you have to go in and, as an administrator, go ahead and download the app itself because this is not the same app that's available on the App Store. Not the same version at this point, anyway. So we'll go ahead and get that downloaded. As you can see here, we're logging in. Typical EULA. And we're going to download the standalone tunnel app. And of course, you can kind of make this available to users however you decide to. I think there's a lot of good options for that. Potentially self-service portal, things like that. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install that tunnel package. You can see the install is successful. So you see here, we now we have this, this cool little thing going on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our email address. Okay, now. So the interesting thing, I look at this, we get some interesting stuff going here. Sim a system extension is blocked, so we're going to address that. You have to hit your little lock button. But once we're done here, we're going to talk about something that's, that I thought was kind of interesting. So we're allowing the extension. So now it's doing its configuration download. Sure, allow it to add proxy connections. Rollout completed. Please close this. And you can see here it shows it's connected. Pretty cool. Something that we are going to cover, though, that I learned. So you can see here, connects to the gateway, sets up the UDP channel, all that good stuff. So you can see here, it is successfully enrolled. But the one interesting thing I want to cover that people might be interested in here is so I actually ran into an issue. I'll talk about more on the blog as well. Is so you have your policy set up to go ahead and, and set everything up and kind of get your profiles and and routing and everything. And so the actual policy that's inside of Workspace One access rather, what it actually is doing here is it's actually hitting the AirWatch app, which most standard enrollments aren't really running into is so your standard enrollments, you know, for the most part, they're hitting device enrollment, they're hitting default policy. What I found here is for these apps for standalone enrollment, they actually use the policy for the AirWatch app itself inside of Workspace ONE Access. I think it's kind of interesting, and I'll provide some content and color into that more in the article. But you can see here, we are up and running. We are functional and ready to go.